Welcome back to the Solution Series, brought to you by Double Radius and hosted by your truly, Jeff Holdenberg. Over the last few segments, we've actually talked about things that try to educate you on saving time and money and working smarter, not harder. Well, we're going to go on to that even more today, okay? We're going to talk about weatherproofing. We're all familiar with this slimy, sticky, little gooey stuff that we've all used over the years to actually weather seal our connections. Um, well, there's, we want to show you a simpler, better way, right? So instead of using this stuff, we're just going to throw that away, all right? And we're going to introduce you to cold shrink. A lot of you might be using this, and I'm glad you do. Uh, but for those of you that don't, I highly recommend you look at this. It is a quick, simple, easy way to weather seal your connections and once again, saving you time and money. So they make these in different sizes, but we're going to demonstrate today. We have our little end connector with our jumper cable, and we're going to go ahead and seal one of these up and see how it goes. So we just slide this on all the way over to the end of our connector and you start pulling. And as you're pulling, you want to slide it up and away we go, right? Quick, simple, easy. And now if you look at this, we have a nice weather seal on our end connector all the way down about two to three inches onto the cable, right? Making a good solid seal. Now these come in different sizes, all right? They come in ones that are meant for end connectors. They come in ones that are meant for RPSMAs. For the new, a lot of people are using the 4.310s. Uh, um, so there are different sizes and I highly recommend reach out to your rep at Double Radius and they can help size the ones that are best for you. Now, another thing that's pretty cool is they have made a tool. It is the Gamma Tuck Tool. And this is for your tower crews. So what it has is it has a carabiner hole on the backside. It has a primary knife, and then this thing can be loosened and rotated and retightened up, and it has a precision knife on the backside. So this is the tool that you would use for taking off your cold shrink, or even if you're still using butyl, this tool could work pretty well for that also. So we're gonna give this a whirl. We're gonna see uh, you know, how this works in taking our, um, taking our cold shrink off. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the precision knife and I'm gonna cut the metal piece and then the slide piece over the cable so we don't damage the cable. Clean and simple. So as you can see, our cable is not a mess. It's still clean and ready to go for another one if we need to. And if you're still using butyl or electrical tape, it usually comes off looking like this, which is a mess that now we still have to clean up uh, before we can reseal it. Where this one, we can easily just take another cold shrink, we can slide it back over and away we go. Now, so as a bonus for watching this, we have these on our shelf and we want to uh, reward those people that follow us and like us. So what we're gonna do is for the first 50 people that like and share our video or our links on social media, we are gonna reach out to you, find out where to mail this to, and we're gonna send you one of these as a thank you uh, for watching the series. I hope this has been beneficial. Please reach out to us with questions. Talk to your sales reps. Uh, they can help size this, make sure you're getting the right one. Uh, Gamma also makes jumper cables. Um, so we hope that uh, this works as a good solution for you. Thank you again. Until next time, have a wonderful day.